Here's how you can understand diodes. Often people explain diodes as a one-way valve. While this is a good rudimentary explanation, it fails to show the full picture. The common PN diode is made of a PN junction, which can be thought of as two materials, one with extra electrons and one that's missing electrons. When combined, they exhibit the property of allowing electrons to flow in one direction and not the other. Now here's the misconception. Electrons can flow in either direction, just under certain conditions. Now imagine you have a circuit with a diode and a lab bench power supply. As you increase the voltage of the lab bench power supply, the current won't increase dramatically until you reach the forward voltage of the diode. After you reach the forward voltage, any greater voltage across the diode will allow dramatically more current to flow. Think of it like the forward voltage being the minimum amount of voltage to allow the diode to be on. Any more voltage would just let current pass through without limiting it. Lastly, it is important to learn the breakdown voltage of a diode. The breakdown voltage is the minimum amount of voltage needed to allow current to flow backwards through the diode. For most diodes, this is a bad thing, but for Zener diodes, this breakdown voltage allows you to use it as a voltage regulator. This is because when used in this configuration, any extra voltage will pass through the diode and be pulled to zero volts. Now this doesn't even cover half of what you need to know to use these diodes in complex analog circuits, but it will let you have a good intuition of when diodes aren't working.